Hi, my name is Riz and welcome back to my fitness channel. Today for you, I have a lower body dumbbell finisher. This is for intermediate movers, meaning I will give a lot less cues. Finishers are great for doing after your workout when you want that last sweat in, or you can do this workout if you're short on time, but keep in mind there will be no warm up included. So I recommend you do a warm up on your own if this is not a finisher for you, but a cool down will be included for this workout. Dumbbells are optional. If you have a booty band, you can add that in also, but today I'll be using a set of 20s. Now let's get started. For the first exercise we have squat heel touches. We're 25 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna be quick switching between moves, so minimal rest. Getting the timer ready. All right, getting into squat position, we're gonna be touching our heels together like so. Ready, go. Halfway. Don't forget to breathe. And done. Moving on to the next exercise, we have lateral lunges. So get your dumbbells. You can use two if you'd like. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna step. You can step to the left or right, whichever side is weakest first. Coming down, you're gonna reach that dumbbell and go into this hinge movement setting your glutes back 25 seconds on each side timer ready every time i get the timer ready is your rest all right ready go Come up. keep that core engaged Pressing through your heel and your big toe. Last one. And done. All right, off to the other side. Keep going. Last one, and done. All right, getting down on the ground, on the mat, we are gonna go for our hip thrust. If the dumbbell bothers you, you can always lay something on your hips, like a mat or a towel. Setting your feet up in position, the length of your of where you position your feet will determine whether or not you will be getting your glutes more or your hamstrings more. So it's depending more on your goals. The farther your feet are away from your glutes, the more your hamstrings that you will feel. The closer they are, the more your quads you will feel. So getting into that kind of middle position, I'm gonna go for our glutes, setting the timer up, and begin. Our core is still engaged in this position. We're pushing the world away with our heels and our big toe. This would be a great time to add in the booty band if you like. 
Last one. And finish. All right. For our next exercise, you will need both your dumbbells. If you have one dumbbell, that's fine or none. This will still be good for you. Grabbing both of your dumbbells, you're going to get into this lunge position. So stepping your right foot back, your left leg will have a bend and a knee. With our, two, with our dumbbells in our hand, we're gonna lunge forward, setting our hips back and coming back up. We're not going like this. Our leg isn't straight. We are lunging, or I guess you are more of hinging forward and our glutes will be pushed back. All right. Setting up, grabbing your dumbbells. Let's begin. Setting down our dumbbells. Off to the other side. Three more seconds. Last one. And done. Setting our dumbbells down. All right. So we're gonna work ourselves back up the ladder of the first couple of exercises that we did. So going back into our dumbbell hip thrusts. Five more seconds, pushing the world away. Last one. And done. Back into our um, lunge deadlift. <laughs> Getting your dumbbells. Starting on the left side, whatever side is weakest, and begin. You're not bending that back leg. That's just there for support. Last one.
Last one. Woo. And done. All right. Next, we have our lateral lunges. You can use two dumbbells if you like. I will just be using one. Woo. Starting on your weakest side. And begin. We're really setting our hips back, but we're keeping that big toe on the floor for stability. Last one. Nice. All right. Off to the other side. Last one. And done. Now, for the last exercise, we have our squat toe touches. Now you can use a booty band, you can use dumbbells, or you can just do this body weight. I will be using dumbbells for this one. Setting the timer. Grabbing your dumbbell and begin. Try to stay low. As we get tired, we're gonna wanna come up. Come on, put in your all, this is the last one. Last side, Woo. and done. Set inside your dumbbells. Join me on the mat for the cool down. Lying on your backs, dropping your legs each side, kind of like a tick-tock direction. Spreading your legs out, bringing your left knee towards your chest. Switching to the right. Bringing your left knee in again, placing your left hand onto the floor for stability. Bring your right knee to your right. Look to your left for this gentle twist. You don't have to force it, just it's gentle. The other side.
going on to all fours, spreading your knees out and sit into cow pose. And breathe. Tucking your toes in to downward dog. Pedal out, we won't be here for long. Just keep an eye stretching. You can stay here longer if you'd like, but for the rest of us, let's walk our hands in, hanging out at the bottom. You can find movement here, stretching, moving from side to side, and Slowly grounding your heel and your big toe. You're going to pull, first pull your stomach up, tucking your pel pelvis in, rolling up your back, then your chest, then your neck, then your head. All right, and that is our lower body or booty finisher. If you'd like, you can repeat this again or as many times as you'd like. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Comment down below. Tell me if any other workouts you'd like to see and have a nice day.